We began the broadcast with the presidential horse race. We end tonight with a real one. Here's Steve Hartman on the road. How many 24 hours? Here's what For as long as her parents can remember, 11-year-old Brianna Carsey has had this crazy dream. Hmm? She has always wanted a brood mare, a mommy horse, that would give birth to a baby horse that would grow up to become a racing champion. Absolutely. This was a fairy tale for her from day one. We put it off for five years almost because we don't have a farm. So we got to go rent stalls somewhere. This sounds expensive. Yeah. Why don't you say no? Well, as she'll tell you, she has me wrapped around her finger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> her foal was born in the spring of 2013. She named it MJB Got Faith for the faith she instantly had in him. I really loved him. He's super soft, too. But that quick bond posed a real problem for this pushover dad. Come here, bud. See, for whatever reason, Brian thought once he explained to his daughter that her horse could never race, that it was a runt from poor breeding stock, she would just agree to sell it. She's like, there's no price, daddy. So I'm talking to my wife. It's like, you know, we really got ourselves in a mess here. Yeah. And I don't know how we're going to get out of this. So we stake him to the races. This horse that doesn't belong in the races. The horse that I thought we should have gotten rid of already. <laughs> Brian was stuck, committed to boarding and training this long shot to end all long shots. Yep. And this is not a wealthy family. Brian runs a small logistics company, and Ohio Racing, which is harness style racing, is a $900 million a year industry. I want to see him go fast. MJB Got Faith was so slow he barely even qualified to compete. But then somehow, some way, won his first race, his second, third, and fourth qualifying him for the state championship held in Columbus, Ohio. And I said, baby, if you finish third, you should be so thankful. She goes, daddy, if he finishes last, I'm going to be thankful. But he's going to win. <laughs> and so it was that this little horse with no pedigree, this pet, with no reason for being here beyond the blind faith of a little girl. Won an Ohio Sire Stakes Championship. She said, Dad, I told you, you gotta have faith. Brianna took home $100,000 that day. She gave half to charity and plans to put the other half toward buying a farm. I just wanna have a farm and be able to go walk out my back door and see him. Since we first told this story last year, Things have only gotten better for Brianna. She got a National Horse Racing Award, and book and movie deals are in the works. Interestingly, her dad now has a racehorse, which he gave a most unusual name. The one is Steve Hartman, known by Brian Carsey. Perhaps because of that poor choice, Brian has yet to win a single race. Fourth, it's Steve Hartman. Hopefully, his daughter will let him live on her farm. Steve Hartman, the person on the road in Connersville, Indiana. And that is the CBS Evening News. For Scott Pelley, I'm Maurice Dubois. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a good night. Good weekend, too.